or opposition to gain even more control over the perception of the population, as people do not seek any other information outside what they see as credible sources, mainstream media or alternative media. Credible sources, but for their level of awareness. The problem here gets worse when even people within the so-called alternative media unwillingly participate with the disinformation soup, simply because, as I said above, they must base their concepts and belief systems on something as a foundation. Foundation that is heavily controlled by design, as I said. The control mechanism behind mainstream media and mainstream alternative media has many faces and uses many tools to achieve their goals. Some are direct slander and debunking of anyone who dares to oppose them. And this is done in many levels as well. So the mainstream media will debunk and slander the mainstream alternative media, creating a perception of duality and of having to choose sides in the minds of simple people. Moving them back into the mainstream media official narrative. But other wiser people will see that both the mainstream media and the mainstream alternative media are controlled by the same people with the narrative and an agenda. So the controllers create another deeper level of undercover and deeper alternative media to oppose the mainstream alternative media, and then yet again to a deeper level. This with the specific purpose of controlling all levels of consciousness and spiritual awakening of the population.